Paris Saad Hariri. Lebanon's PM traveled to Saudi Arabia last week and has yet to return. Here are five things to know about him. Hariri was appointed Prime Minister of Lebanon in December 2016. He was also the Prime Minister from 2009 to 2011. He leads the anti-Assad March 14th alliance that's strongly supported by Saudi Arabia. He suddenly resigned as Lebanon's PM during a visit to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, claiming to be under threat of assassination. Hariri's father Rafiq was assassinated in 2005. Rafiq Hariri was a very popular politician and close ally of Saudi Arabia. His assassination was widely blamed on Hezbollah. He also served as Lebanon's PM in the 90s and early 2000s. Hariri inherited a Saudi-based construction company from his father. The company Saudi Ogia was based in Riyadh. And the owners were accused of corruption in 2015. The company was also hit hard by the downturn of the Saudi economy. Riyadh cancelled numerous construction contracts with Saudi Ogia and moved hundreds of its workers out of the company into other jobs. As of June 2017, Saudi Ogia owed around $3.5 billion to Saudi banks. Hariri is a dual national. He holds both Lebanese and Saudi citizenship and his net worth is estimated to be around $1.3 billion. This isn't the first time Hariri has left Lebanon. In 2011, he traveled to France and stayed there for three years, citing security reasons for his absence. Lebanon's government has refused to accept Hariri's resignation, and many fear that he's being held captive in Saudi Arabia. Will Hariri return, or does the kingdom have different plans for him?